In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a toggle off canvas menu using Elementor Pro. Like for example, if someone clicks on this item over here, automatically it shows up the off canvas menu. And inside the menu, you can still navigate through the different menu items and also some discount offers over right here, including a call to action button as well. On the same note, our off canvas menu will be fully responsive on mobile devices, for example, over right here, as well, someone is still able to navigate through the other menu items. If we are to look at the same menu on another device, still it will be fully responsive. If we are to look at this same off canvas menu on a tablet device, this is a Galaxy tab. When someone clicks on our menu item, Voila, our off canvas still shows up. And the beauty is that still someone can scroll through the page. They have the close button over right here and still they can navigate through the other menu items. So if this is something that interests you, make sure that you like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. And now let's get started. We will head straight to our dashboard. If you want to follow this tutorial using the same resources, you can simply install the Envato template kit called Barbecue Restaurant. And we'll come straight under Templates, Pop-ups. To be able to create pop-ups in Elementor, you should have Elementor Pro. So over right here, I've created a pop-up using Elementor. Let's look into our pop-up settings. Over right here, I have my pop-up. And under the Settings option, and it's taking over the viewport width of 25%. You can make this to be 30, you can make it even to be 60 or 70. In my case, I want to make it 25. And I said that my content fits to the canvas. You can as well save fit to the screen, and then you have extra space down below here. And then the position, either center or left align the pop-up. In this case, we want it to stay left aligned. And the vertical alignment, whether I want it at the top of the page, or in the middle, or at the bottom. That goes back to how you want to display a pop-up. We chose that we want to show an overlay. So without the overlay, that's how it looks like. It will be plain. So with the overlay, that's how it looks like. We also chose that we show the close button, which is this over here. So if I enable that and disable, that's how it looks like. And we also chose an entrance animation for our pop-up. For example, when I come back here to our home page, when I click over there, that's the entrance animation we are having. When I return over here to our off canvas menu, we can choose it to fade in from the right, but I'll leave it to be fade in left. And the duration can be set over here. And that's all for the layout options. Now let's go under style. And under style, I made sure that I set the overlay color to this color. So you can change it to any other color that you want. For example, like a red, you can make it further transparent something of that sort. All right, so I'll leave it to my initial color and there is no setting that we have to do under the advanced options. So now you've set up how your pop-up should look like. Now let's go straight to the canvas itself. So when you select the main section, then you can choose the layout. In this case, I left it to be boxed and the minimum height of 80 VH. You can make that to be even 100, depending on what you want. So in this case, I want to leave it to be 80. And under style, I added a background image. And this is the image that is appearing just at the back. So if I remove it, that's how it will look like. But I want to retain my image. And I positioned it to be center left. You can choose to position your image anywhere that you want. All right. Under the background overlay, we added a background overlay color. You can as well choose to have a different color for your background overlay. On the image, set the opacity of our background overlay. And then I had to add the navigation widget. To add the nav widget, you come to your widgets area and choose the navigation widget and add your navigation widget and then go ahead and style. So let me take you through the style settings that I set up for our navigation widget. By selecting the nav widget, under the layout, I made it to be a drop down widget after selecting the menu. This menu is created under the menus area under appearance. So to go there, if I hit command E, I say menu. I'll open in a new tab. 
So you see, this is our menu over right here. Once you're done creating your menu, then you can select it over here. And then we choose that our nav menu widget will be a drop down, not a vertical menu. Because if it's a vertical menu, it will show up like this in our off canvas. But we want to keep the drop down menu. And then we'll use a hamburger. And then we want our toggle to align only on the left hand side. Beautiful. Under style is where we had to customize our menu items in the drop down. All right, so for the text is white color no background color and the typography is Zilla slab and obviously I added a vertical padding of 18 so that these wordings are having enough space in between each other and for the hover make sure that the text color is remaining to be white so it's adopting the normal color and then the background color is going to be a gray that's why when you hover over here it's having a gray same for the typography we set it to be Zilla slab and the font size is rem three points all right so same for the vertical padding which is adopted as well from the normal option and for active we left everything on default so for the toggle button we had to change the size as well to make it 45 and you can as well change the color for the toggle button just the way you want see so something like that and you can as well set a background for your toggle right once you are done with that you can as well set up your hover options but in this case i left everything to be on the default settings so under advanced for our nav menu widget, I added some margin at the bottom so that it, there is enough spacing between, between this heading widget and the nav menu widget. Then you can add any other piece of content that you want over right here. And these are basically buttons. All right, so now once you're done setting up your pop-up, then you are good to go. Simply just save that pop-up. You don't have to add any conditions. Now that we are done creating our pop-up, let's go and create the other sections. So we will exit our pop-up. So back inside our dashboard, we're going to come over here to templates and we'll come over here to the theme builder. So inside the theme builder, we can say add a new and that way we are able to create a new header. And then you are able to start creating your header from scratch over right here. However, I have already created my header. I'll exit back to my theme builder. And then I'll come over here to the header and I'll select my already created header. My header is basically taking up the full width and having a minimum height of 300 pixels. So I have two columns in my header, this and this, and I have two items in there. I have a heading widget and I have a button widget. This is basically a call to action. So I select my heading widget. I come to the link options and I select the dynamic tag. And under dynamic tag, I'm going to select that under actions the pop-up and for the pop-up I am going to select to toggle the pop-up because we want that it's only that when someone clicks on this menu item that the pop-up should show up all right so back here choose that you want the action to be a toggle and under the pop-up you have to select the pop-up that you created I'll search for the name of canvas pop-up 2020 under settings you're going to make sure that you select the display conditions based on where you want to display that header that's what you have to choose under here in the conditions but for my case i want our header to display on the entire website so i'll simply save and close all right so now i have my header created so i'll head back to the dashboard and under pages i'll come and open up a page of my preference it can be the home page or whatever page you wish so once you are done assigning your off canvas menu in the header then you are good to get started now when someone clicks over here obviously your off canvas menu will show up. The one thing I have to mention is that please don't forget to work on the responsive settings of your pop-up. By coming back to your pop-ups and under settings, make sure that you choose how wide your pop-up should be. For example, if you want it to be 70%, it will take up 70% on the tablet devices. If I want it to be only 50%, then you take half the screen size on the tablet device. The same we will do for the mobile, Remember that is under the pop-up settings. You can choose it to take over 100% of the viewport width, just like you see over right here. Then you just simply save and close, not adding any conditions, and then you are good to go. So in a nutshell, that's how you can create your off-canvas toggle menu in Elementor Pro. In case you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment box below. We're done creating our off-canvas toggle menu and it will be responsive on all the devices.
Thank you so much for watching and have a good time. See you in the next one.